So with the adoption of next gen sequencing, we've really entered into a new era where we can spot genomic mutations behind diseases. Now said that, the complexity is really now making sense of the data, so data analytics, and as well preparing properly the samples so that you can get the maximum out of uh, the sequencing. Sophia has been working now with over 200 hospitals that are producing patient data into 35 countries. And as we have been working with hospitals, we have realized that our artificial intelligence, Sophia, uh, is going to be empowered depending on the quality on how the samples are being prepared. Huh? So it's like a bit having a, an engine of a car that will be empowered by the quality of the fuel. And while we went through that process, we, we, uh, we realized that actually the library of Kayagen was very efficient and that using that library, hospitals would be able to detect some mutations with our artificial intelligence, while otherwise would be very difficult to detect them. I think the big challenge in the past, will, in, the, in the future, will be having uh, high quality data, uh, somehow to be able to create a collective intelligence. And so this requires on uh, connecting hospitals, mutualizing data, sharing knowledge, and then being able to leverage on this collective knowledge so that one can better diagnose and treat patients. And we do believe that if we are able to properly produce the data with proper sample prep and properly analyze the data, then from now to 2020, we will be in a position to be able to say that the cancer of a patient that has been analyzed through our platform looks like the one of 10,000 other patients, among which 10% did receive a treatment plan and did work.